Yeah, man, say all praises to your hour. By Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Kodash. Double honors to your pastors and elders of Whitman Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there push his throat in our sincerity and in our honesty. This is brother from James Jamaica Camp. I'm Yashamai and um, this morning, morning I'm having on um, this RT news, uh, violent protests around the world. See, because let's go back to a Bible prophecy. I will live in that time. When a lot of prophecies basically happen, um, one back or the other. See, going back 2000 years ago, the disciple, the one who, um, you see, when shall be the sign of your house shall be coming on the end of the world. And right now, we live in a time when we see all the signs of, and all the prophecies. Of, you see, because we see it take place right now, um, even this video, you see, me a part of the sign of the second coming of the man when people ignorant the call Jesus. True name in the Hebrew is your house shall. You see, so what me I don't know, me I play this video and then afterward um me get into some scriptures um, um basically. But first we begin with uh, a story that's continuing to make headlines around the world, but at this point it's hardly a blip on the media's radar screen here in the United States. While the mainstream media has lined its shows with the wall-to-wall -wall coverage of President Trump and the threat of impeachment. There are massive protests breaking out worldwide that have, in many areas, turned deadly. That's a rock where at least five people have been killed in what protests and protests that started in Baghdad and at this point have now spread throughout the entire country. With, at this point, angry about unemployment and corruption and the abysmal public services being offered by the government. Hundreds of people have been injured in the protests that are being called the largest display of public outrage against Iraq Minister Adel Abdul Mahid's year-old government. The violence continues there as well. I believe that was Port-au-Prince. As protesters continue to clash with police, you're just seeing some of the images coming out of the capital city where Haitians have been protesting the widespread fuel and food shortages throughout the island, a free-falling economy, high inflation and corruption allegations against government officials, including the island's beleaguered president, Jovenel Moise. Well, last night on this program, Rick spoke with a UCLA Professor, who's an expert in Haiti about why the United States and specifically the Clintons have had a hand in pushing Haiti to this breaking point. To think about Haiti um, um, in terms only of the specific crisis, to actually completely ignore the continuous role over 200 years of U.S. imperialism in Haiti. What's happening now is a, a severe gas shortage that people are protesting against. They're protesting against this gas shortage because um, the president is trying to raise gas prices. But this also means the president is being forced to raise gas prices because the IMF is asking the president to, to, to get rid of subsubsidies. Haiti to Peru, where thousands of protesters are demonstrating the country's, in the country's capital of Lima following President Martin Vizcarra's decision to dissolve Peru's Congress. That's right, to dissolve the entire Congress prompting a fight for power and control of the country. Viscata has called for a new parliament, parliamentary election to be held within four months. Yeah, but hey, you know, as I said I'm earlier, and hey, it's a visual say, hey, well, right now we in this society, you see, because, hey, it's a go back to um, Bible prophecy. You see, it, um, in the Canisius, um, and verse 1 say um, he he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass or signs um, uh, Matthew 24 and verse, um, 24 verse 3 say so what the disciples um, 2000 years ago right 
And I'm going to ask you how shy. This question. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world, the end of the age, in the so-called white man um, rulership? You see, because now we live in a time when we see all the signs of You see, she can say, well, me, um, he says it. In the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Um, second is us 6 and verse 7 say, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or uh, when shall the big when and uh, Sakya? When shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when, he, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, going back to Genesis. For Esau is the end of the world, so Esau rule right now. And we see, we see Esau today, the so called white people. See them true biblical names that the, uh, the Edomites. See Esau, Edom. So them are the ones who are ruling now in this time, to live in. You see, 2,000 years ago, you see, when the Lord had washed away the earth, you have the Romans, them, they basically in power them time. Eh? You see, the Romans are, they are Edomites also, and now we don't know what, second leg of the Roman Empire. So now we live, we live you see, that the hen and them rulership. You see, so we live in a time when, um, you see, the, um, the signs and the prophecies that were disciples that look for 2,000 years ago, you see, they come to pass. You see, right before we eyes now, you see, verse 9 again. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So our kingdom is next. And who is Jacob? Um, Jacob changed the name to Israel. You see, and what truth we call Israelite today? The so-called Negroes, um, Latinos, and Native American Indian. And truth we call Israelite today. You see, um, second and one again. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So Lord, the house shall basically visit the world right now. See me at a time period living right now, the end of the little season. Hey, the end of this wicked society. Verse G. Therefore, when thou shalt Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, I will see a lot of earthquakes. You see, it happen frequently. And hope roar of the people in the world. You see, and this I will take place right now. You see, this video. But Peru's congressional president declared instead the removal, the temporary throwing the country into political chaos and uncertainty. so-called yellow vest movement has now stretched into the 46th week with large-scale protests by those angry about the country's high cost of rising fuel prices. Well, look at that. And finally, we turn to Hong Kong, and this is a story that has been reported. And of course, the battle between protesters and police there that also continues now into the sixth month. That's right. Yeah, for sure. It is a, it's a, it's a, right now, hey, people across the world is getting um, upset about is it all suffocation and all the things that they basically face in the country. So, hey, and it's a sure to you, say, hey, it's not far ago. And out here in Jamaica, hey, we're looking um, pretty soon for something to start out here too. Very soon, because you know them so-called Jamaicans, you see, them believe they are blessed. So we look for something to start out here soon too. Um, second is just nine and, and three again. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars of the people in the world, I would just uh, watch a video, just play a video on um, violent protests around the world.
So this I come to pass right before we are, before we are is right now. You see? Um, therefore, when thou therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand. Then you are understand. Then you are understand that the most I speak of those things from the from the days that were before the even from the beginning because everything was predestined. Skip us to the Lord. How about Shemir shall declare what the end from the beginning and from ancient time the things that are not yet done. See the Lord's counsel shall stand. So now we in a time when the Lord is how shy is in gonna make him a rifle and set back the earth in perfect order and deliver the elect from the four wings of the earth. As scripture says in Matthew 24 chapter verse 5 say for like as all that is made in the world at a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. Okay, we can be clear right now. So we should end of this speaking society. So Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 5. Say, Whoso take command men shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man, a wise man's arts, I mean, go back to the Hebrew word lab, which basically mean mind. Discern it both time and judgment. So we we are discerning now, we are discerning the time of Yahweh about Hashem or Shai is in um, deliverance and also this judgment, you see, because the Heavenly Father will judge this wicked society, you see, that time period we are living in right now, hey, and all these things, you see, me, um, go back to our um, prophecy. So, in that time, when the Lord will judge the society, you see, because right now, hey, we can clear so the society need a purge right now to the level of wickedness and confusion. But take place worldwide. The society need a purge right now. So that may I say I'll praise this day how but Hashem now shy about Hashem Kakodash. Um double and stay the apostles and elders of Great Man Stone. Shall I'm to all our brothers and more they push his truth. Um can't push his truth because I'm um, pretty soon we'll leave this wicked society. Shall I